Britain will have to either sign up to EFTA, EEA institutions, or accept the Ukraine model if it wants a free trade agreement, FTA, with the EU, a professor has claimed. Last week, the EU's chief Brexit negotiator, Michel Barnier, said a trade deal with the UK by the end of the year appears unlikely. The latest round of talks broke out in London on Thursday, with Mr Barnier telling reporters in a virtual press conference that the two sides were, still far away, from agreement. He complained Britain was demanding, near total exclusion, of European fishing boats from its waters. While there have been signs of compromise in some key issues, such as the need for a single deal rather than multiple sectoral agreements, Brussels still insists on maintaining its current fishing rights in British waters and wants London to agree to a number of EU regulations, including environmental standards, workers' rights and state aid rules. On the other hand, Prime Minister Boris Johnson is demanding the right to diverge from the bloc's rules in order to strike trade agreements around the world. In a statement, the UK's chief negotiator, David Frost, also concurred that there were considerable gaps. As no deal looks increasingly likely, in a recent entry for the London School of Economics, LSE, S blog, former president of the European Free Trade Area, EFTA, court professor Karl Badenbacher claimed Britain has actually two options now. The Swiss jurist argued that if the UK wants an FTA with the EU, it will need to either sign up to EFTA, European Economic Area, EEA, institutions, or accept the Ukraine model, which will mean it is still under the jurisdiction of the European Court of Justice, ECJ. He explained, under Trajan the Roman Empire, at its greatest extent, encompassed the entire Mediterranean region, but also parts of present-day Germany, Britain, Romania, Turkey, Syria and Armenia. The European Union is preparing to build a similar empire. Roman law played an important role in the expansion of the Roman Empire and the EU relies on the export of its law, and the extraterritorial effect of the case law of the European Court of Justice, ECJ. The EU has concluded bilateral association treaties with four former Soviet republics, Ukraine, Georgia, Moldova and Armenia, under which these countries are aligning their legislation in important fields with EU law.